Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Action Evolved, and today uh, we're looking upon the remnants of the chrome vein we literally set up last episode. It's just completely gone. Um, so we got quite a bit to do today. Uh, a few things that I talked about that I want to finish. Uh, so yeah, so let's hop right into it. But we got to find some chrome first. So luckily, I mean, this is our Molly. And is our Molly out too? Oh my goodness. I wasn't even planning on doing this. But that is... Okay, alright, no big deal. Okay, so this is where obviously the Molly was, right? Now, in my travels, in my discovery sessions... I, I found this opening over here, right? So you see a bunch of sand, it kind of cleared up, right? And if we go out here, you'll see, oh, there's a little a little area right over here. So if we go take a little look, see, oh, I think there's, is that a sugar light crystal? Oh, there's a, there's like quite a few down here, actually. We might want to grab these, honestly. Yeah, let's turn some light on. Oh, well, there's one. I think these can get used for other things in the future so i think having them is always a good idea if we can okay but let's go into this hole and you can see i marked it all off so we don't get lost right so we go in here and again i was looking for chrome well actually here's what i here's what really started right if we look you'll see that's kind of how the geothermals operate right and if we come somewhat over here you're going to see there's a hole right up there let me get stable right up right here i had put a geothermal at the very top of this to come down here everything was good until we got you can see there's a hole there's a hole there's a hole until we got right here what did we hit super hard rock so I don't have a good enough build gun to get through this. So I had to remove the whole geothermal, get all the pipes. So we'll be setting that this uh, episode as well. So we can have another one. But I believe we have something here. What do we got? A chrome. I don't remember how big this is. So 1.5 million isn't the greatest, but you can see we've got a ton of other veins down here. But I wasn't planning on finding Molly also. <laughs> so let's see. Chromium, molybdenum somewhere. Oh, is it? That's gold, right? Okay, as we get deeper, we hit more molybdenum. What do we got? Gold, titanium. Okay, so the Molly is up. Where are you? Ooh, I kind of want to grab that. They stop yelling at me. Okay, we'll, we'll find the molybdenum. But the, the whole point was I wanted to, number one, find the chrome. We have a, a little bit of a back stock of molly, so that's not a huge deal right now. But we were working on some research, so let's go and kind of take a look at some of that. All right, so as you saw, we ran through those veins way too quick. So... I've been working on efficient vein extraction. And you can see the only thing left is compressed freeze on. Now, why is this important? Well, if we go to the research and we see what it gives us, trencher drill mark two, which is just more efficient, I believe, right? So, some even without loss. Okay, so it's definitely decreased efficiency in the sense that it's less efficient than whatever the next version is but it's better than the first one we had right so that means we need to get into our bottling setup right so let's go take a look at that all right so here is where i had attempted to bore down put the other uh geothermal there right i don't have any deep stone um i gotta have something here we'll use this okay so i think instead what i'll do is I put up another platform right here. I think we'll just set up the geothermal right here. And something else I've done is I've kind of, I've started to put, you can see the, the cryoplasm is coming through a little bit more as we're researching stuff and doing more things. 
I suspect that once we start the bottling, we're going to see a lot more of the cryoplasm. So let's go ahead and let's throw down a geothermal right here. Okay, and then same thing. We'll need to put a pipe down or put some pipes down. I don't have... Oh, well, you know what? I have 2,000 slaughters. That should be fine. We'll just do that. And I'll just throw all the heat conducting pipe I have. A thousand. Over a thousand. We'll just kind of let this do its thing. And it's got so many pipes that I don't think we need to worry about it for the time being. So now, let's go over here. Some Because some of you may have seen... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But before I do that, I tried... I attempted to double up the amount of pipes I had. Because I, I felt like these were running too slow. You know? And, I mean, we're clear now. This will be something I address here shortly, but we will be completely redoing this whole system. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll, we'll see. It may make it into this episode. It may not, but it's something we're going to attempt. And I've got a little prototype off over yonder that I'll show you shortly. But I've also got a little mock-up of what we're going to do for our bottling, right? All of our particulate filtration. And so this is kind of how it's going to be set up, right? So the legend here is these black squares are going to represent the, what do they call them? The particulate, particle filters, right? So particle filters, and then we have the blue things are compressors. The green thing is the bottler, and then, or no, this, this is the storage, and then the bottler is going to go under there, right? So we can actually start by... We'll start from here out. And it, it should all make sense. All right, so we've got that. And I'm curious if that triggers anything. So that still says 220 meters. Okay. So this is... Right, so it's waiting for gas from a particulate compressor. So now let's throw down... Let's just throw a compressor down right here. And it's just a 3x3. Three three. Okay, now we have a compressor. So the way this all works, right? You'll see these ports. So there's a port, there's a port. Where else there is a port? Right here in the middle of these turbines, right? So this compressor can handle four particle filters on its own, right? But I think I got enough for two. All right, so we'll build this real quick. Now, I don't have enough... Uh, Partic particle filters to fully saturate these, but you know, we'll do what we can do. And I think we're also going to need some fluid pipes. Oh, we need to, we need to make some real quick. We need, we'll, we'll make some and then it'll all make sense. Let me just go hit this real quick. Okay. So I'll craft 25 and one. And let me throw those down on here that way we can do everything okay so the purples these are gonna represent batteries right so let me let me kind of build one of these and then it should make sense right so this is a three by five by three okay so that's one filter now the easiest thing to do for this one right is we just have this straight connection right there. So we'll just do that. Now those are connected. And then we're gonna want to uh, hit this like so. So now this will be get uh, the stuff from the compressor and then we'll, we'll build a hole in the bottom and get it to the bottle, right? But this doesn't have any power. There's no power here. So it's not gonna run, right? So again, that's where these kind of come into play. In the past, what I've done is I've shot power in from below. Um, I'm going to wait to see how I want to do it because I'm not 100% sure, right? But let me show you how they look doubled up. Okay. So when you have two, right? So you'll see there's another output, output port right here, right? So what we can do is we can do that and we can just do that. And just hook them straight up, right? So then that is just two, two filters for one compressor. And then we'll do the exact same setup right here. 
And then so this, each corner will represent one fourth of a full system, like a fully maxed out system. And I don't know if that's changed to this. I don't think the cryoplasm is going quite yet, but I think once we start getting things powered up, it's going to, you're going to start seeing a difference, right? So I believe if we look, there's the output right there, right? So I don't a hundred percent remember where the ports are on this thing. Okay. So then I literally think it's just that. And then we just come straight down. Okay. And, and then that's just, that's just good to go now. So let's throw a big hopper right there. So now it's literally just a matter of powering this all up. And what I've done in the past is you put a battery kind of like, like right there. And then you put a battery like right there. And then you just hit them with lasers, right? So um, I haven't gotten to thinking about the power yet. Oh, let's see here. Actually, I kind of want, I kind of want to build. I So it looks like I have enough for four total uh, compressors, right? So let's just do that. Okay, never mind. Looks like I didn't make enough. I'm short, what, four or five blocks. So I'll, I'll make those in, in a little bit. But how are we going to power this? So this doesn't need power. This does need power. And this needs a little bit of power. Okay, so one thing I've done in the past is I've kind of made, hmm, maybe I'll do a vertical kind of thing here. So if I go to the middle of this, right? And you got, you, I just got hurt, right? You got to be careful standing on those because they, they hurt you for whatever reason. So... I might be able to just use this power right here because we're getting 1100 and that should be or 820. So you can see actually minus 1120, that's the full depth and it gives you 820. So 820 times 20 is, is the maximum this thing is going to be, which I think is like 17,000 power per second, something like that. Okay. So what we're going to need to do, hmm, I may be able... I might be able to just do what I did in the past, but we got to be very careful, right? So we'll do this. We'll do this. And then we just got to hit these with, with power. And of course, oh, actually this could work. This could work. I think I'll just do this for a temporary solution. Yeah, so let's do that. I'll get some glass. And then I'll do that. And then that. But of course, let's... Let's block all these off with glass so that we do not uh, get interrupted, right? So, But then you should be able to see, right? So it's pulling stuff in. It looks like it has enough power. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like it's working. What is this doing? Connected to gas storage. Connected gas bottom plant. So we should start seeing some freeze on. And just like that. Look at that. One compressed freeze on. Okay. So let's see how this is affecting the... Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. So this is... There you go. Now you can see exactly what starts to happen. Kind of crazy, right? So... I've also taken the precaution of making some more Lancers for just such an occasion. And I'm going to put some up here. Right? Because we do not want the cryoplasm to get closer if we can help it. All right. So we've got a couple things. We need, we need 512 of those. I need to make more of these so I can at least get that filter up because that'll just make other stuff go faster. Um, and then I'll have to figure out how I'm going to power that. 
Um, actually, if I do this, and I do this, and I do that, and then I slap a battery there. Can that work? You know what? I can make it work. So what I'm thinking about right now is how I'm going to uh, transmit this power to the other locations, right? And I'm just trying to piggyback off of the infrastructure I already have, right? So, in other words, if I get rid of this, do this, and then also make this a battery. Because it seems like this does not take more power than we're giving it, right? It doesn't even look like it's taking that much power. Like, these batteries are more than full. 15 power per second. Yeah. So, hardly anything, honestly. Which makes me believe that I could, you know, when I do, like, this, I could kind of come off of that maybe maybe like this maybe like that maybe like that so yeah and then that'll go up right it'll hit I should uh, I should glass off yeah I should glass this off too I should glass this off, and then I should glass this off. But this is to ensure, again, th this doesn't have to be the final, final setup. But what are we at? 18, that's not bad. Now let me show you guys what I was talking about when it comes to supercharging this stuff, right? Because this is at, well, let's see. So about 20,000 down, right? If I take that. And I take all that compressed freeze on. And I throw it in here. So now watch. We're at uh, 820 power per second. And I throw this compressed freeze on in there. Or does it only like the vanilla 100 slot hoppers? I think it might only like the vanilla ones. Do I have any of the regular ones? Or let's do a logistics hopper. That should work. That could work. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll get rid of that. Give me that. So remember, 820. Okay. Now 16,404. That's how much... That's how much power per second this thing can really do. And look, it, it's basically topping up all these batteries. So just, you can imagine if we had multiple, multiple, like, like tens of these geothermals running that, like, all our power is solved. This is actually what I plan on having the the end be, right? The end game power. Once once the cryoplasm is all done, we can kind of network all of these geothermals. We'll still be getting the freeze on or whatever, right? And then we can uh, send all that power up to the surface to just power everything. So eventually everything will just be uh, Mark IV batteries, conduits, because we can t we can take all this infrastructure down once we've kind of defeated the cryoplasm for the most part. And then we can really just bank on compressed freeze on and really like try to get a good rail gun time. That's kind of the plan. So let me do that. And again, this this goes for a full minute of freeze on, right? A full a full minute per canister. So that's kind of nice. Okay. So while that's doing its thing, it doesn't really matter what we're doing if we're also still smelting slow. So Let's go take a look over here. Now, I've I, I've just been kind of looking at some things, right? And I want to kind of redo how we smelt, right? And so this is kind of the prototype for that. And it honestly mostly has to do with how... with the length of the pipes that we can go, you know? Because we can only go so far. I think it's 16 meters. 
And so you see like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pipes. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pipes, right? So this setup would get us right in line, would, would, would make everything still work, right? But what are, what are we looking at, right? Okay, so the trusses are blast furnaces. So we got four blast furnaces. The you can see there's four hoppers on the bottom on each side. Those uh, equate to the outputs from the lift, right? So those will be 2,000 slot hoppers, and then this marbled block here is supposed to represent a lift. So what one thing we can do, and again, and this would be a battery. So what I think I'd do is I'd actually put this right on top of the lift, the battery have a conduits coming up and kind of just power it the exact same way, right? But this is a way that we can kind of forego this whole thing, right? This whole process right here on transporting all, just the, the raw, loose material. So we'd basically just move this whole setup around each of these lifts. Now this does mean we're kind of dedicating ourselves to using those specific lifts. So if we find more ore down below, that's where the logistics are going to come into play. And then what I'd want to do, uh, the casting base, so this is the casting basin, but you can see it's connected to all the different uh, things. What I'd want to do is matter move the bars when they're done to the lift over there. So which kind of fits the theme better. So I think I'm going to just go ahead be because we, we need to wait for that stuff to to generate more compressed freeze on. Like I think, I mean, we got 36, but we need 512, you know? Actually, let me see if I can get another filter up because that would just make things go a little bit faster. So let me, let me see about that real quick. And then, uh, and then we'll come down and we'll start moving the blast furnaces. All right, I made the last little five blocks. So let's get this thing going. And ooh, careful, careful. And then we want to attach it like so. And it looks like it's fine. Yeah, so it looks like this makes it go quite a bit quicker. Obviously, like with all four, it it maxes it out. But yeah, I mean, it looks like it's going just fine. And we can always upgrade this power distribution to be better when we need to. Like if we need better lenses or whatever. But even once I even have the second geothermal on here, it, it'll be more than enough power for the meantime, right? And it looks like we're kind of doing all right here. Still at 100 power per second, so that's fine. Now another thing that I do to kind of clean up a little bit, things like this. Right, so you'll take, and in fact, I think I'm going to need to put um, Lancers on the hot bar here. So you'll go and you'll just kind of, all right, well, let me put a battery right there and slap a Lancer on top. And then it'll just kind of start cleaning things out, you know. It'll kind of just do its thing. So yeah, so... There's going to be a lot of that, a lot of just cleaning that we're going to have to do. And then once we get all the defenses going, th that'll help a lot too. So, uh, now I guess we got to tear this all down. Man, this is going to be quite a bit of infrastructure to tear down too. So, let's also plan here, right? So, we have this. Um, this is going to be... Powered from one of these. Maybe it'll be powered from this one. And then that lift will be powered from that one. Okay. That's fine. That makes sense. Yep. All right. So let's... I'm going to start tearing all of this down. And then I'll bring you guys back when we're getting ready to build over there. Oh, it's so sad. Okay. So first thing, we'll need blast furnace, right? So... We got those. 
Okay, so we got Blast Furnace, and then we'll need power, right? So battery in here. So we got that. Blast Furnaces need to go up seven, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's build these. So this actually works out pretty nicely because then that means the conduit is just flush with the top of that. So that, that works out pretty well. I am, I'm just assuming that these will be able to take from there. So th that's kind of an assumption on my part. <laughs> okay, so casting basin. Um, so we have an option here. On this mock-up, I put the casting basin at ground level. But if I elevate it one, that removes some of the pipes with the exception of, well, no. Actually, yeah, I, I think I will elevate this by, by one, right? So we need a space here for the pipe. So the first casting basin component will go right there. And I think it's a three by five by five, right? Three, four, five. So just like that. And the reason I'm even thinking about doing this will hopefully make sense when it comes time to actually move the material when it's done. Right? That's kind of what I'm hoping. All right. So we know that we want straight casting pipe there. Oh, I do have some here. Okay, so we'll use these for casting. And then that is just... Um, so I will have to go up and over something. Let me think here. So obviously, like, this is the easy one. The back one is the hard one, right? And that was fine when I was doing it this way. It'd be so cool if I could just go straight down and back, but I can't. I mean, I can come off to the side... But I have to go down at some point, right? Right, so that's like one. And come on. Um, let's do... Like that. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, right? So we'll have to do something like that. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I think that works. I think that will work just fine. So I think that can get us everything. And then what we'll do is, let me think. We need to get, we'll need to matter move or get rid of our X or excess creations whatever right so if I do that how does that f work All right let's nothing critical down the line I'll just have to be careful of that you know what I think that'll be fine I think we'll just work with that because from there we can kind of matter move it out farther to like miss Maybe we'll build this one out this way where the casting basin's over here. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. So for now, I'll say that's pretty close to being done. Let's actually, let's get some of the power. Because even though we're building this, we're going to have to start figuring out the next, the next source. Right, the source of this ore, which should be the chromium. Okay, so let's get some glass. We'll need to go up a certain level, right? In fact, I'm going to throw a conduit on here against my better judgment, right? And then, ooh, we can come off the back face. Let's come off the back face of that. Right? Okay. 
So now that is all hooked up. The the crow. So we got that, and then we'll just use that battery face or that battery for this setup. Uh, let me go check the compressed freeze on. Let's see, what do we got? 259, so that's not terrible. But we need 512, right? And how is this working? Decent. Um, not bad. So it almost... I feel like with a fourth filter, it would not have any downtime. But power's looking fine. Okay. So... Because we still need to win that, so let me show you another thing that happened. This guy, if you look at the bottom, pipe drill stuck on hard obstacle. Please remove, right? I'm a little concerned with that because that could potentially be hard rock, right? So what is this coordinate? Um, so we're at minus 60, minus 53. Minus 60, minus 53 at 899 okay so we actually need to go down and just kind of check that minus 60 minus 53 minus 8 mi minus 899 minus 860 minus 853 okay let's go check that out while we're waiting on some stuff all right so we found our pipe here now anything is salvageable except for the super hard rock so we just gotta kind of hope and pray that we don't hit that and okay <laughs> molybdenum 23 mil oh my goodness um <laughs> that is actually gonna be the vein we go with so thank you for finding this but we absolutely need this so, in fact, I'm going to dig out this area real quick, and we'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right, so it looks like we found our molly vein, and I think we're going to have to call it an episode here. There's This is too big of a project to get into for this episode, and uh, so in between, I think I'll just I'll finish that research. Maybe I'll get a little bit more part particulate filtration going on. I'll probably move this guy. And of course, I'll give you guys all the details at the start of the next one. So thank you all so much for watching this. I uh, hope you guys are having a, or hope to have a great 2024. This should be out on January 1st. So uh, yeah, hope you guys had a great 2023. Hope you guys have an equally great 2024. And I hope I see you all in the new year. So with that, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one.